As opioid addiction rises in our area, many people in government looking for a solution. As a matter of fact, even in New Jersey, the deaths from addiction overdose three times the national average. Well, Mayor Bill de Blasio in New York City saying he's going to do something about it. He's got an idea to put in an injection free zone where addicts can go and shoot up without any problem with the police. John Shumo has the full story. What do you got, John? Bill, the mayor calls them overdose prevention centers. They're also known as supervised injection sites or safe injection sites. These are places where illegal drug use is permitted with the supervision of medical professionals. It already happens in Canada, Australia, a few countries in Europe, but not yet here in the United States. Mayor de Blasio says it's time to change that. After years of discussion about this issue, de Blasio finally approved the idea just days after activists rallied outside City Hall demanding action. The centers are designed to combat the epidemic of fatal overdoses caused by the use of heroin and other opioids. Almost 1,500 people died from overdoses in New York City last year, according to the city council. At these centers, anti-overdose medication will be available. Mental health and drug treatment services will be offered. It'll start as a year-long pilot program. No tax dollars will be used. The sites will be operated and run by nonprofit groups. On his radio show this morning, Mayor de Blasio acknowledged the approach is unconventional, but he said something needs to be done. Opioid crisis that is astounding. The number of people we are losing to overdose every year, many times the number of people we lose to homicide or to traffic crashes. And uh, we've got to use every possible tool to address it. So what's next? The city has chosen four locations for these centers, places that are currently operating needle exchange programs. These are areas in Washington Heights, Midtown West in Manhattan, the Longwood section of the Bronx, and the Gowanus Park Slope border in Brooklyn. There'll be outreach in those four neighborhoods, and the city must get state health department approval, as well as approval from the district attorneys and the local city council members for this to move forward. All right, John, let's bring back the A-plus panel. Lisa Durden is with us. Pop culture expert, Laura Nanos, lawyer and columnist for Law and Crime, and Wayne Smith, former mayor of Irvington, New Jersey, and CEO of Wayne Smith Associates. Lisa, I'll start with you. Um, it occurs to me that you hear things like this, uh, and I've said this before, you talk, I do a lot of work with recovery uh, um, uh, groups across the state, you, you're almost enabling people if you're getting to this point because one thing that they're not getting is any kind of mandatory treatment and any, uh, any family that's been afflicted by this will tell you the repeat is in the 90, 95 percentile. Yeah, this is a good moment for you because we're agreeing for once. Agree. Um, you know, I got to tell you, the thought of a modern day shooting gallery, like that's a throwback from the 70s, makes my brain bleed. I can't imagine. I did like the idea of a needle exchange. That was, that's an old thought. But just the idea of people being able to go to a location to literally shoot up illegal drugs that are opioids, that to me is just a, a no. I think we're right to be skeptical, but there's evidence that these have worked in other places. There are people who have taken part in these kind of programs who say, I've gone to these kind of centers, I've gotten educated, and ultimately I've gotten off drugs. I think the intent is a good intent. The, pro the program is just a pilot program for a year to see if it works, and if it does, great. The opioid crisis is too important to just say, I've tried nothing and I'm out of ideas. Wayne, are we missing the point, you know, where things have worked, it seems to me the one component is that forced treatment. You've got some states that once you uh, are, are in for illegal drug use or they use Narcan on mm -hmm. you, you are forced to go through some kind mm -hmm. of rehab. We have nothing like that in New York and New Jersey. Well, I think rehab is important, but I think, you yes. know, these ideas are, are not new. Right. I mean, some people say an, an, an injection center is a methadone clinic. Some, you know, we've, we had this public discussion so about... Already got them. You, but you don't inject methadone, though, through your veins. No, it's no, not no, mainline. But it's the concept so, is similar so very, very similar. They have these it's safe zones. It's a titrating zones drug that titrates you off yeah. of the heroin. So titration but, but you But you're now on methadone. No, but it's still a different drug. Yeah, but it's a drug. I understand. So I'm all for drug free and let's keep our kids away from all of it. But at the end of the day, if we're going to try to save lives because we're getting people who are dying from dirty needles, we're increasing the level of AIDS, then maybe... But when a person is addicted to heroin, are people they... People are dying because right. they overdose. And even right. in some cases, I've talked to cops up and down the right. state. Uh, there are many people that get Narcan administered right. twice in a day sometimes. Right. I think we have to see if it works. But if I think that drug addicts are, are not going, drug right. are not going to go to these centers when they want right. to get high. 
okay. another, another they topic. Need it now. We could talk all night oh, about Jesus. this. All the right, got to leave it there. Thank just you guys. Just say no. <laughs>